Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'll be creating a Google Doc, and the information I'll be using to create the Google Doc is from a Google Sheet, which is the table I have in front of me. And after I create that Google Doc, I'm going to save it to Google Drive into a certain directory. So first I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to hit Custom. I made a custom tab up here, and I want to make Create Doc. It's going to give me a line of questions. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name of my file. So I'm going to call this Inventory Report, and I'm just going to give it a date. 10, 13, 20, 20. I'm going to hit OK. Next it's going to ask me what is my report header. So I'm just going to say Inventory Report 10, 13, 20, 20. Hit OK. And next thing it's doing is actually creating my doc and it's putting it in my Google Drive. So I'll go to my Google Drive. Here it popped up. I can click that. And now I have my report, my inventory report, 10 13 20 20. And I have my table in there displayed. So I'm going to show you a step by step process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my Google spreadsheet. I have it named Create Google Doc. Uh, my sheet name is Data down here, and my data is right here. My header record is color, year, miles, model name, and make name. And you could put any kind of data here. Um, I don't know how wide you can go for this Google Doc or how many more columns. I don't know if it's going to squeeze it down or if it's going to wrap it. So for here I got mostly the perfect size for a Google Doc, just five columns here for this example. So next I'm going to move into the Google Apps Script. Go to my script editor and I'm going to give it a name. Create Google Doc. The next thing I'm going to do is copy in the Google Apps Script code. So there I have it copied. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. Next I'm going to create my Google Drive directory. So I'm going to go to my, my Drive. I'm going to go to my folders here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit New Folder. I'm going to say Google Docs as my folder name. I'm going to hit create. I'm going to go in the folder and I'm going to copy this ID up here and it's after the folders slash up here. I'm going to go ahead and copy the ID. I'm going to hit control C. I'm going to go back to my Google app script code. I'm going to go down here where it says variable destination ID. I'm going to copy in my ID here. And I'm going to hit save again. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this these functions I got that creates the Google Doc. And the first thing I'm going to go over is my on open function here. This is a standard Google Apps Script function. And basically when the file is loaded for the first time, it's going to call this function add menu. And this on open basically is this function gets fired when it's open and it'll call anything you have inside the function. So here I got a called add menu. So here's my add menu function and what I'm doing here is I'm creating a tab called custom in my menu. It'll be added right here at the end. And then the thing I'm going to put underneath my menu option is create doc and with create doc I'm calling this function called create document which is a function I have up here and then there I'm adding it adding it to my menu right here so now I have my custom tab where I can click on create doc to start my document creation 
So here I got my create document. I got this uh, UI object declared, the spreadsheet get UI. And from there, I'm using this UI to do some prompts to get some information. So the first thing I'm asking for is the file name, which I'm setting it to this variable. And then the next thing I'm doing is getting the report header, which is the name that you want displayed above the data that you're putting on your Google Doc. So that is right here, report header. So I'm getting those two values. Uh, I got my SS object for my active spreadsheet. I'm setting my data sheet with my data sheet name down here. I'm getting the range, and the range is everything that's populated on that sheet. And the next day I'm getting the values, and the values is the array of everything that's populated on that sheet. So then, next thing I'm getting is my destination ID of the directory. And then from there, I'm using that ID to get my folder object of destination. The next thing I'm doing is creating my doc from my file name, get response text. So whatever I'm getting my file name coming back from my prompt, I'm getting the response text of that object of file name and then creating my doc. Next thing I'm doing is getting the ID of my doc. So now I have the doc ID and then from there I'm getting the ID I'm getting the file object using the ID by doing the get file by ID. So now I got my file object and I got my destination object. I got my destination folder object. And what's happening here is when I'm creating the Google Doc, it's going to my root directory on Google Drive. And then from there, I have to move it into the destination folder that I created. So that is this last statement. So I'm taking the file, move to my folder object. So now that file is moved in. From there, I'm getting the body from my document that I created and I'm inserting my header so whatever I'm getting up here my report header I'm setting that in as my index of zero that means like the first the first segment of my of my report and I'm setting that value here and then from there, I am setting that as like a heading one. So if you're familiar with HTML code, the H1 tags basically making it bigger and bolder so it stands out. And then from there, I'm appending my table values, my array, and I'm getting a variable of table coming out. And then from table, I'm going to do some modifications to it. So the first thing I'm getting is my table header, which is the first row of my table. And next, I'll be editing the text. I'll be setting that to bold and setting the foreground to white, which is this, the color white. And then from there, I'm getting the number of cells in my header record of my table. So in this example, it would be five, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to use a for loop. I'm going to go through each cell and set the background of more of a, like a darker gray. So that header record sticks out. And that concludes this function. So basically, I'm putting two pieces of data in there. I'm just putting a header title of my report, and then I'm putting the table in, and I'm doing something with the header record of my table making it the letter stick out as white and putting a dark gray background in there so something very simple put together here so I'm gonna hit save uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my Google sheet I'm gonna refresh it to get my custom button to populate up here so again I'm triggering that on open function which is create my button. So next I'm going to hit create doc. That's going to take me through my permissions. So I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to hit my account. I'm going to hit advanced. I'm going to hit go to create Google Doc. 
I'm going to let all this happen with the Google Drive and the Google Doc and even my spreadsheet. I'm going to allow it. And I'm going to go ahead and click it again. And now I'm going to get my prompt question. So we'll call this inventory report. Give it a header. Inventory report. 10-13-2020. Hit OK. Next thing it's doing is creating my report. Now I can go to my Google Drive. I can check in. Now it's displayed there. Double click. And now I have it viewed here. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.